Can you imagine a single menstruating woman produce 240 pieces of sanitary waste in a year? It is about 125 kilograms of non-biodegradable waste through her menstruating years alone. In Malaysia, menstruating women will produce 2.4 billion pieces per year, equivalent to around 2,400 tons per year which is around 480 garbage trucks full of sanitary pad. Do you know a tampon has 6% of plastic while a sanitary pad has 90% plastics and each pad is equivalent to 4 plastic bags? They are usually disposed by landfill and incineration. Since one sanitary pad could take from 500 to 800 years to decompose as the plastic used is not biodegradable. Thus, by landfilling, most chemicals lead to groundwater contamination and loss of soil fertility. According to Women's Environmental Network, each year more than 400 million pounds of sanitary pads, tampons, and tampon applicators end up in landfills because currently, there is no waste management or recycling solution from the government to tackle sanitary waste, thereby exacerbating the plastic disease epidemic. However, incineration leads to further damage to the environment through toxic fumes causing air pollution. In some cases, they may be flushed down the toilet and end up in the ocean, which causes marine pollution. In UK, 2 billion period products are flushed down the toilet a year which is 75% of all cases of block drains and expense removal costs of £14 billion each year. Do you know the menstrual hygiene products you usually use exist a lot of risks? First. Tampons will absorb 35% vaginal moisture, disturb pH balance of the vagina and have the risk of getting toxic shock syndrome TSS, which is a life-threatening complication of certain types of bacterial infections. However, tampon and sanitary pad have artificial fragrances which can cause skin irritation and allergies. They also contain bleach and dioxin which has the potential to cause cancers like cervical cancer and ovarian cancer based on WHO. Next, cloth pad may cause a vaginal infection by promoting the growth of bacteria and fungus in your intimate area if not cleaned properly. In some low-income areas such as rural India and sub-Saharan Africa, some women do not have money to buy sanitary pads or even clean cloth to soak up their periods. Instead, they resort to padding their underwear with newspaper, soil or even ash. This training program is targeted to raise awareness or giving the essential knowledge regarding menstrual products towards sustainability among female society. As the menstrual cup is not familiar or considered as a conventional method among the female society. The goal of this training is to educate the teenagers since young age and to change the mindset of conventional product users especially the hygiene and environmental issues created. Besides. The highlight of this training is to promote the usage of menstrual cups, increase the awareness of health and environmental issues created, and educate the public regarding the sustainable lifestyle for a better future. A menstrual cup is a menstrual hygiene device which is inserted into the vagina during menstruation held in place by suction and used to collect menstrual fluid. It is a reusable rubber device which is usually made of flexible medical grade silicone, latex, or a thermoplastic isomer. It's shaped like a bell with a stem or a ring. The stem is used for insertion and removal. The bell-shaped cup seals against the vaginal wall just below the cervix. It used in every 4 to 12 hours depending on the amount of flow. The cup is removed, emptied, rinsed, and reinserted. After each period, the cup requires cleaning. To debunk superstition in the community, virgin women also can use a menstrual cup and there are no age limit and marital status to use it because a menstrual cup would not stretch vagina and hymen. The person who inserted IUD or allergic to latex, silicone or any materials of the menstrual cup are not recommended using a menstrual cup. 
If there is vaginal irritation occurs, immediately stop using the menstrual cup and seek medical assistance if needed. A reusable menstrual cup can last for up to 10 years, therefore reducing sanitary waste to the environment. Some cups are designated as disposable, which could lead to less waste to clog up our landfills. Unlike tampons or pads which have to be continually bought, reusable menstrual cups are budget-friendly since they only need to pay a one-time price, thus providing significant cost savings over tampons and pads. Menstrual cups are safer and healthier because they collect blood rather than absorb blood so they are free from such drawbacks of conventional sanitary product as video mentioned before such as risk of getting TSS, absorb natural vaginal moisture, disturbs pH balance of vagina, skin allergies and so on. A menstrual cup can hold about 1 to 2 ounces of menstrual flow, roughly twice the amount of a super absorbent tampon or pad. Girls not need to worry about the embarrassing menstrual odor fanning out because these cups do not allow the exposure of blood to air. When a menstrual cup fits you well and placed correctly, you would not feel it. As a menstrual cup can be worn safely for up to 12 hours but depending on how heavy your flow is and it can prevent leakage, you can rest assured when using it during rigorous activities like yoga, exercise, swimming and so on. Menstrual Cup is a sustainable product which support the UN Sustainable Development Goals No. 6 Clean Water and Sanitation and 12th Malaysia Plan, Environmental Sustainability. Because it can be reusable so creating no waste while using one, which is more environmentally friendly than single-use products such as tampons and pads. Although the menstrual cup is not biodegradable but it can be recycled at a specialty recycling center but depends on what material your menstrual cup is made of and where you live compared to tampons, and pads which cannot be recycled and disposed of in landfill or incineration. Furthermore, Menstrual Cup also support the UN Sustainable Development Goals No. 3 Good Health and Well-Being and No. 12 Social Re-Engineering. Because it is safe and good for women's health as it is free from such drawbacks of conventional sanitary products as video discussed before. Furthermore, Menstrual Cup also support the UN Sustainable Development Goals No. 5 Gender Equality. Because it reduces the women's burden on menstrual costs especially low-income people, although its initial cost is higher, but in the long term, its reusable benefit is budget-friendly since they only need to pay a one-time price compared to continuously disposable tampons or pads. Steps to use a menstrual cup First, find out what size of menstrual cup you need. Smaller menstrual cups are usually recommended for women who are under 30 years old, having given birth vaginally before or have a light to medium flow. Larger sizes are recommended for women who are over 30 years old, have given birth vaginally, or have a heavier period. Before using your menstrual cup for the first time, you should sanitize the cup in boiling water for 3 to 5 minutes. Remember not to let the cup touch the bottom of the pot. Before inserting, Wash your hands using clean water and mild soap. When using the cup for the first time, you can lubricate it with water or a water-based lubricant to aid insertion. Fold the cup in half with your other hand so that the rim makes a C. Then, spreading your legs to insert the folded cup. You can insert it while sitting, standing or squatting. Once you inserted the rim of the menstrual cup, the cup will start unfolding itself inside the vagina. Rotate it sideways to help the spring open to create an airtight seal that stops leaks. All you need to do is to push it slightly with your finger until the whole cup is inside including the stem. If the menstrual cup has been inserted correctly, you might hear a pop or a suction sound which means that the cup has unfolded and created the necessary suction seal. If you are having trouble putting in your cup, speak with your doctor. Step to remove a menstrual cup. Since one of the benefits of using a menstrual cup is you can use it for up to 12 hours at a time so once inserted you can leave your cup in all day and night. Depending on how heavy your flow is, you may have to empty it more often than twice a day. To remove a menstrual cup. First, again, start out by washing your hands with clean water and mild soap. Find a comfortable position and relax when removing your menstrual cup. Pull slightly on the stem until you can reach the base. 
Give the base of the cup a gentle pinch, or insert your index finger alongside it, to release the suction seal and ease it out. Once you have removed your menstrual cup, empty the collected flow into the toilet or sink and rinse the cup with water. When your menstrual cup is clean, you can reinsert it. However, if your period has ended, boil the cup for 3 to 5 minutes in water. Reusable menstrual cups are durable and can last for 6 months to 10 years with proper care. Throw away disposable cups after removal. Here is just an overall guide. It is important that you follow the exact instructions given by the manufacturer of the specific menstrual cup you are using. We collected some feedback and review of using the menstrual cup from users, some of them thinks that it is easy to insert the menstrual cup. And some of them think that it don't interfere with their daily life. According to the analysis carried out by the menstrual cups market to 2027, the global menstrual cup market is expected to reach 636.16 million US dollars in 2027 from 406.70 million US dollars in 2019. The market is estimated to grow with a compound annual growth rate CAGR, of 5.9% from 2019 to 2027. Besides, according to the database from Google Trends Index, the search engine uses a number out of 100 to represent an interest in a search term. In 2013, the search menstrual cup had a popularity score of 21, but it has increased to 83 only five years later. In another word, the menstrual cup is getting popular in the market as the awareness of hygiene and environmental issue. Financial consideration and understanding of the product's benefits from the public have increased over the year especially in the Western countries. But compared to the Asia region, although the menstrual cup is safe and effective, but it is not widely known in the market. According to the research published in the Lancet Public Health Journal, However, only one out of five women on average, even in wealthy countries, were aware of menstrual cups. It can be said the knowledge of menstrual cups is not spread widely. Especially for younger people to use or switch their sanitary product for sustainable ones. Yes, it is. The Hive, a practice of zero waste at home is a good example of the product of sustainability. The product of the Hive that is a reusable menstrual cup device for menstrual fluid collection. The Hive that is the first Malaysian menstrual cup and was introduced at the beginning of 2019. This is a good start towards the development of menstrual cup in Malaysia but should support by the local authority and NGO in the market by giving more knowledge and information to encourage the public. Menstrual cups make your period easier. Switching to menstrual cups was more comfortable and easier than you thought. The shift might give you realize the important facts along the time. You will be able to save significant amount of cash and give an arm towards the environment. So why don't you give a try to the menstrual cup? Hope you enjoyed our training content. 